Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do a Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So tomorrow being an expiry day, uh, the market can be sideways and volatile. Uh, so every day we have been opening with a gap up or a gap down, and you know trading becomes difficult. So even today, market open gap down. However, Nifty and Bank Nifty, like Nifty performed well uh, as per our analysis, uh, we expected that Nifty will fall until 17,440 and it made a low of 17,442, uh, wherein Bank Nifty, we thought of, uh, you know, 37,150 to 200. However, I think it came up to 264 or 270, something like that. 264 is the low. But Bank Nifty was, uh, you know, kind of strong uh, than Nifty because uh, Nifty was continuously forming lower highs and lower low in the entire time frame. And that is usually easier to trade. However, if you look at Bank Nifty's price pattern, it was totally confusing. Uh, it made a low, then it made a higher low. And for a long time, it couldn't break the high to understand that yes it is forming higher highs and higher lows and as soon as you understand that you know it has formed a higher high and higher low immediately it break uh, it breaks the higher low and creates a confusion but this was a demand area around 37 350 and from that uh, place a short covering was initiated quickly in bank nifty so very few would have been able to understand that you know this was an important demand area however it was a confusing market overall today so what next is something which we are going to discuss see if you look at nifty and bank nifty both are definitely facing a resistance in the uh, upside trend line however nifty has already taken resistance and it has been falling continuously okay but bank nifty is taking a halt at this place if you look at here if you look at the daily candle you know continuously it is forming uh, a range okay so this range breakout or breakdown is going to be tremendous because it's been one two three four five days and it is still in this smaller range and this range breakout is something which we'll have to wait for so this is the range that i'm talking about so what is that range exactly let's quickly check uh 37,975. so let's consider 38,000. and on the lower side uh, let me just delete this on the lower side it is 37264 the low that was made today so 37264 and 38000 so this has become an important range now and it is continuously trading within this range so whenever it breaks out or breaks down we are going to see a very strong momentum. So let's hope for it. Uh, there is nothing much we can do because since it is opening gap down. So today, uh, what happened? Let me just tell you. So we saw that both FIs and pros had call sell, and FIs had only call sell, and pros had call sell and uh, put buy so market open gap down and it gave a dip uh, immediately around 37264 and they started booking their profits and slowly steadily you know market as soon as it came down it started to recover and it was traveling something like this and uh, it was a great opportunity for both of them to book their profits. See, the confusion happens uh, whenever both of them are on the same side. So this we have already discussed earlier. So both of them were on the same side. So that's what I was telling to uh, my friends who were there online with me during the trading time. So 
So what happened? Bank Nifty made a 15-minute scandal, uh, and there are a lot of people who trade the breakout of the 15-minute scandal. And what Bank Nifty did it? It immediately broke the range with a very big red candle. Okay, so which initiates uh, put buying uh, for retailers here. You know, so as soon as retailers started entering here, and also this is a very big, big breakout candle. Uh, a lot of people try to enter in these areas and slow and steadily market started moving upwards and what we retailers do is we keep on averaging things because looking at this big red candle obviously people will start averaging their position so let me just show you that on the uh, intraday chart itself so that it gives a clear picture so Yeah, so what people do is, uh, let me just switch it to 15 minutes. So this was the first candle. Okay, so people mark the high and low. And then eventually we shift it to five minutes. Let me just bring it to this particular area. Yeah so something like this so this was a candle which gave a strong breakdown but usually i tell people that once a big candle breaks down uh, you know i usually take a position when that is retested so if it is breaking down i wait for this to get retested once and then i enter in a put here so why I do this? Because if we see this kind of a candle, we need to see a follow through candle also. So it should be another strong red. But that did not come. Immediately we saw a piercing pattern here. And immediately it went up to day high. And then it came back down and then completely sideways. And eventually it gave a breakout and it went upside in the second half. So that's what happens and that's a confusion. Uh, but you know there is nothing much we can do it uh, we just have to keep our stop losses steady so that we don't make too much of a loss okay now we'll quickly discuss uh, the data see if you look at here uh, let me just activate this line so bank nifty is you know trading near this resistance continuously so there is a possibility we may break down there is a possibility we may consolidate and we may give a breakout so whatever it is we are going to trade that so let's discuss the data first and understand what can be the position for tomorrow so let me just open up the participant wise open interest okay so this is a participant wise open interest uh, what i expected market has done the same thing again if i have closed long positions in index future and they have created a good amount of short positions in the index future so uh, see we must understand one thing they had a significant uh, long positions in the index future which was about 80 percent okay now slowly gradually they are reducing their longs and they are uh, adding shorts so to book profits in the longs they have to keep the market in the range uh, that is more profitable for them and that's what they are doing they are holding magnifty in a range in such a way that they are booking profits as and when it gets an opportunity to go up and then eventually they add shorts and they bring uh, a gap down or maybe uh, they bring the market down the next day so anyways uh, we'll see what else is there with us so shorts being added if you look at call options again they have closed long positions in the call and they have closed some shorts but this is okay because they have shorts left in the system and if you look at uh, put options they have created some long and they have created very lesser shorts so overall the call is uh, in short and 
we can see put long which we did not see yesterday so since we did not see put long yesterday we did not see bank nifty traveling too much on the lower side but tomorrow we can expect some strong dip so that this longs can be profitable and pros have call shots and also put shots so put shots are more than the call shots but that is expected because bank nifty recovered from a very low point to a higher point so a put shot was definitely possible so uh, pros are expecting a sideways kind of a market however fis are bearish is what we can understand so for the people to understand like uh, how fis versions has been changing let me just show you this okay so this is the net position till date see if you look at here uh, it was strongly bullish from 31st march so the net long was around 1 lakh but the short was just about 35000 then it continued 1 lakh 42000 then 1 lakh 12000 and 35000 1 lakh 12000 and 38000 so from here the picture started changing okay from 5th of april if you see the longs were not increasing however the shorts were increasing and eventually from 7th of march or 7th of april they started booking their longs and started adding shorts and finally today uh, the net long is around 71200 and the net short is around 61600 so now slowly and gradually so this is what i was telling you all before that now slowly and gradually they'll book their profits and they'll keep on adding their shorts so that the position becomes neutral and eventually then they can shift it to a bearish kind of a thing so this is what is happening so if is a bearish and pros are sideways for tomorrow and in today's cash market if i sold for about 3100 crores india is bought for 800 crores so if are clearly bearish is something which we can see now let's understand what should be our uh, plan for tomorrow okay so this is uh Let's shift a little down. Yeah, let's keep it like that. Okay. So tomorrow, uh, what we'll do is see now this is a bigger range. Okay. From thirty-seven nine hundred, we have closed up around thirty-seven seven fifty. So if we open here, okay. Say if we are opening with a gap up somewhere close to thirty-seven nine hundred. Or 38,000 tomorrow being an expiry definitely will look for call sell or a put buy here okay put buy or call sell so the area is 37 900 to 38,000 so here we'll definitely take a short position and our immediate target would be somewhere close to this level so what is that level let me check that that is around 37.575. Okay. So we'll mark a line there. So that is basically uh, yesterday's closing price. So that should be our target area. So when it will be a target area, if we see it opening below 38,000. And between 37,900 and 38,000. So that means a gap up opening. There will definitely short a call or maybe buy a put. And eventually our target is 37,575. If we open flat, say that if we are opening here, we'll wait for it to get a dip and it will definitely show a bounce at 37,600. Okay. And then once we break this low again, is when we'll enter on the put side here and for that time uh, so our entry will be somewhere close to 37,670 and we'll just expect a fall until 37,500 and not beyond that because tomorrow it's an expiry day and if again it opens gap down then I would say uh, better avoid or what we'll do is there is a possibility it may trade within this range okay and we'll mark this particular range and whenever this range breaks down or breaks out 
we'll try to enter that side okay so this is our view for uh, bank nifty tomorrow so keep in mind a gap up uh, definitely it is for short because sell and rise is the uh, plan for uh, the coming weeks so a gap up definitely a short let's look at nifty quickly so nifty is in a proper area it is proper following the price action that we expected so it is still under an area where there is pressure so just imagine that you know if it is opening with a gap up so here we see a bearish strong bearish candle and here also so within this range that is around 17600 if nifty is opening with a gap up which is our uh, weekly support that was breached today that will act as a strong resistance so around 17600 if we get a gap up somewhere here we are definitely going to either buy a put or sell call and our first target will be 17500 and then the second target uh, can be just around 17450 okay somewhere around this place so this is in case of a gap up so gap up will be your best trade for us tomorrow and in case if it opens flat and it immediately breaks this low we can buy a put our first target would be somewhere around 17440 that is the pdl so today's low will be our target and in case if we open gap down say we are opening somewhere here we'll wait for it to you know form a range and we'll trade the range breakout that may come in the second half. So this is my view for Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow. So FIs have continued to be bearish in the market and we may have to follow them. And just keep in mind that whenever the market is opening in favor of them, there is 100% chance of profit booking. So we may not go and you know buy puts when the market is already opening in their favor. So when it is opening, not opening in their favor is when the market, they'll take the market into their direction is when we make more profits uh, is something which we'll have to always remember. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.